Hello everyone and welcome to our video series on Learn German for Beginners. In this lesson, you will be learning personal pronouns in Dativ. If you don't remember what are personal pronouns, you can watch lesson 11 of our video series. And in lesson 32, you can revise Dativ. Lektion 36 Personalpronomen Dativ Before we begin with each personal pronoun in Dativ, let's learn how to use them. And here's an example. Das ist Michael. Michael ist mein Freund. But to avoid the repetition, you would say, er ist mein Freund. Er ist the pronoun for Michael. Ich gebe Michael eine Schokolade. And to avoid the repetition of Michael, we would say, Ich gebe ihm eine Schokolade. Why are we using ihm? Because Michael in this sentence is the dative object. So, we need to use a dative personal pronoun. Let's look at the sentence again to understand it better. Ich gebe ihm eine Schokolade. In this sentence, ich is the subject, hence nominative, whereas eine Schokolade is the accusative object, that is the direct object. The indirect object is ihm and it's the dative object. Since the personal pronoun for Michael is er in this case, we need a dative personal pronoun for er, which is ihm. Hence, we use ihm in the sentence. Let's learn the various dative personal pronouns. First person singular in nominative is ich and the dative equivalent is mir. Let's see how to use this in a sentence. Hi, ich bin Maria. Gibst du mir eine Schokolade? In this sentence, du is nominative eine Schokolade is accusative and mir is the dative object. The personal pronomen in dative for ich is mir. Second person informal du. In dative, the personal pronoun is dir. Let's see how to use this in a sentence. Anna, du bist nett. Ich gebe dir eine Schokolade. In this sentence again, ich is nominative, eine Schokolade is accusative and dir is the dative object. In dative, the personal pronoun du changes to dir. You must have noticed that the sentences are similar in all the cases. We have used same sentences because it's easier to identify what's the nominative and the accusative. This helps in identifying the dative personal pronoun. Let's move on to second person formal. In nominative it's Z and in dative it changes to Ihnen. Let's see how to use it. Herr Schmidt, Sie sind nett. Ich gebe Ihnen eine Schokolade. In this sentence, Ihnen is the dative object and Ihnen is the dative personal pronoun for Sie. Do remember that the Ihnen here is written with a capital I. 
The next one. Third person masculine. In nominative, it's er, and in dative, it changes to im. Let's see how to use them in a sentence. Das ist Michael. Er ist Architekt. Ich gebe ihm eine Schokolade. The same case we have done before. Ihm is the dative personal pronoun for er. The next one is third person feminine. In nominative, we use sie and in dative, ihr. Let's look at a sentence to understand them. Das ist Michaela. Sie ist Studentin. Ich gebe ihr eine Schokolade. Ihr ist der dative object. As you can see, ihr is the dative personal pronoun for Z. Coming to the third person, neuter. S in nominative is im in dative. Das ist ein Kind. Es ist süß. Ich gebe ihm eine Schokolade. Once again, ich is the nominative subject, eine Schokolade is accusative object and ihm is the dative object. The dative personal pronomen for es is ihm. Let's do the plural pronouns now. First person plural in nominative is wir and in dative it's uns. Let's see how to use them. Wir sind Samantha und Mike. Gibst du uns eine Schokolade? In this question, du is the nominative subject, eine Schokolade is the accusative object, whereas the dative object is uns. The dative personal pronomen for wir is uns. Moving on to second person, informal plural form. That is, in nominative ihr and in dative euch. Let's see how to use them in a sentence. Marie und Tobi, ihr seid nett. Ich gebe euch eine Schokolade. In this sentence, euch is the dative object. The dative personal pronoun for ihr is euch. The next one is second person formal plural form. In nominative, it's sie and in dative, it's ihnen. In this case also, you should remember that ihnen is written with a capital I. Let's see how to use them in a sentence. Herr und Frau Müller, Sie sind nett. Ich gebe Ihnen eine Schokolade. In this sentence, Ihnen is the dative object. The dative personal pronoun for Sie is Ihnen. Coming to the last one. Third person plural in nominative is Sie and in dative it's Ihnen. In this case, the capital I is replaced by a small i. Let's see how to use them. Das sind Petra und Jürgen. Sie sind nett. Ich gebe Ihnen eine Schokolade. In this sentence again, ich is the nominative subject, 
Eine Schokolade ist der Akkusativobjekt and Ihnen ist der Dativobjekt. Der Dativ-Personalpronomen for Sie ist Ihnen. Now let's put all of them together. In Nominativ it's Ich, Dativ, Mir, Du, Dir, Sie, Ihnen, Er, Ihm, Sie, Ihr, Es, Ihm, Wir, Uns, Ihr, Euch, Sie, Ihnen, Sie, Ihnen. A few tips to remember here. The dative personal pronouns for er and s are the same, that is, im. The personal pronouns in dative for sie are always ihnen, but you have to remember only the smaller z, the indirect z, has the dative personal pronomen as ihnen with a small i. Well done! Danke! Thanks for watching this video. If you like this video, do give it a thumbs up and share it with your friends. If you have any comments or questions, you can leave them in the comment section below. Do subscribe to our channel for more videos. Tschüss! Auf Wiedersehen!